This is Buster Digital at UrbanAudio.com, <clears throat> UrbanAudioTracks.com. And what we're going to talk about today is film scoring. Now, film scoring is a little bit of a different animal than, say, your traditional uh, hip-hop, R&B, pop, <clears throat> or electronic dance type of music. Film scoring is designed to set a specific mood within a scene. Um, you know, there's different types of scenes today. Specifically, we're going to talk about uh, how we begin to score an action scene. We're going to start out talking about the different tools that we need, and uh, we're going to review some of those tools. And then this is at the end of um, our tutorials, which is just going to be a multi, uh, multi-tape multi tutorial. <clears throat> so we're going to have multi multiple sessions here. We're, then we're going to make an actual uh, track. So we're going to talk about making action tracks right now. But again, you have different types of mood within any kind of film or TV series or whatever, or a video game for that matter. You know, you, you're going to have action, you're going to have romance, you're going to have dramatic, you're going to have sad, you're going to have happy, you know, you're going to have angry, frustrated, all those, all those types of things, build-ups. And, you know, so, you're going to, so, that, so there's going to be a number of different types of moods that we're trying to capture where we're... Um, working on a when we're working on a on a scene or a, and that sort of thing in a movie so one of the first tools that we want to make sure that we have we want to make sure everybody has a doll i'm sure by this, by now if you're thinking about film scoring you already have a doll you already have a computer you should have a set of a, good, a decent set of studio monitors and that sort of thing what we want to talk about is the actual tools that we use that's going to give you a high-end professional sound when you go in and try and score for film and one of those tools uh, is the, the the first thing when you're thinking about film scoring, specifically action scenes or action trailers, is your percussion, right? That is the foundation of any action you're going to be doing. And for me, one of the best tools that I found for this, right? Some some are going to have some are going to find a little bit different tools. This is a tool that I like to use, you know, and that is going to be action strikes from Native Instruments. Now, this is a contact player, so you will need to get contact player from Native Instruments, right? But Action Strikes, it, to me, is the best uh, tool for getting a percussion track going for um, for your action scenes. If you listen to action, I mean, it's, it's it has three different parts. You have your ensemble part, you have your hits part and you have the instrumental part. Now the ensemble part basically plays plays your loops. Now what you can do with these loops and, and what's, what's, what's really fascinating about them, you have different, each ensemble has about 12, there's 12 different ensembles here, right? Uh, and each one has a slightly different sound and feel to it. Right? And what you can, what you can do is, uh, right? You're gonna get different types of, uh, the, the rhythm never changes, but the feel will change. Right? But the rhythm will stay the same. Now, something else you can do, what's really great about this is, and, and right now we're just talking about the loop part of it. We haven't got to the individual hits yet, but is that each section has three different parts. So right now we're on the ensemble of rising of the machines. However, but if I wanted to make some changes, for example, okay, you got your highs, you got your low, mids, and you got your lows. If I wanted to change this a little bit, I can, I can go to a completely different ensemble within the three different uh, levels and, and completely change the sound, but not the rhythmic uh, feel of it. And you can do this for each one. And you can also, you can also, you also, you have your effects here, you have your reverb, your delay, you know, your, your mic, you know, this, you wanna have a, a closed room mic and that sort of thing. So you have you have your normal effects that you're gonna have on, on any uh, piece of equipment there. And so when we talk about action strikes, action strikes is really a great uh, tool to work with. Another uh, piece is that you have here, 
you have five different uh, keys that you that you can play it in, right? And this and the last one is just is more of an ending. But even when you're playing in your five different keys, right? Each key is going to give you a different rhythmic uh, feel. is worth any what we just did right now that's worth any loot library right there that that, that, that you're gonna purchase i mean if you if you if you buy a sample cd with, with for uh for your percussion sounds it's gonna run you 99 bucks um uh, what we just did right now is is enough to get i mean you know to get you the same amount of drum loops or whatever that you're gonna get with that but this is this, this we haven't even gone over anywhere near all the features what you can also do in each key now you can change the uh, the accents to it, right? So you can go from here. You have a uh, it's accenting on the eighth note, and then maybe we don't like that. Maybe we want to go down and have an accent back where it was accenting on the sixteenth note, and we can continue to change the feel of that same, but but continue to kind of keep the rhythmic part of it, and. Um, it's really, 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 a, really a, a a treasure trove of uh, of things you can do as far as action strikes. Now, this is specifically dedicated for action uh, percussion, okay, or cinematic percussion. <clears throat> and the next, you have your action, you know, you have your action hits. These are your individual uh, drum sounds. If you just want to, if you don't want to use the loops and you want to play things out, you can just go through and. And again, you have your different um, sections. You have your big, uh, for your different types, you have your big tom ensembles. You have your metal hits. Each time as you go down, it changes slightly, right? So. And also, if you if you're comfortable with using one of the loops, you can also add your own hits uh, afterwards, right? So this so action hits is really one of the is is, is really very is a really very versatile tool. And you can also then you also you have your individual um, instruments, right? That are somewhat looped. So, with action strikes, it's really um, it's it's, re it's really an excellent tool for those who just really want to get uh, just just want to get down and get and be able to get cinematic percussion quickly. <clears throat> so, what we're gonna do now for just for the purposes of this tutorial or, or for this review, I should say, right? What we're gonna do basically now, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna find a diff a decent. Uh, loop with a decent accent on it and we're gonna lay it down just for the purpose of this tutorial just to show you how quickly we can you know we can get something laid down here so we're starting out with what's called the war ensemble I'm gonna change the mids on this to blockbuster and I'm gonna change the highs on this to rise in the machine okay I'm gonna add some delay and some reverb and I'm gonna raise the levels a little bit on the high and on the mix. Okay, now what we're gonna do is now that we, we got something decent again. Okay, now we've uh, recorded um, the track here. And again, as usual, I always quantize everything to a 16th no matter what. And again, this is just a simple loop that we're, that we're getting started with. Just to give us some percussion. Okay, so now 
that we've done that in our next tutorial we're going to go in our next uh tutorial on making an action uh film score we're going to go ahead and do we're going to go ahead and lay our strengths okay so stay tuned